Alright, continuing where we left off. Um, what are we doing here? Let's see. Uh, using that example image you can pull off my website. Uh, unless you want to create your own, that's perfectly fine, but it's recommended that you use the one I created just for this tutorial. And then you can go from making your own from there. Uh, just because of the co create color mask that I'm going to use. Um, it'll kind of show you how to make uh, certain pixels transparent. And let's get started. First, we'll create the image buffer. So we'll call it SF image image. And then we'll if image doesn't load from file. And let's example image PNG. And then we want to return exit failure. Basically right here is the key or it does not, so it'll test whether it loads or not. If it doesn't, it'll return an exit failure and in the console it'll tell you that it was not able to load that image. Okay, now that we have that image loaded, we'll go ahead and create a, an SFML sprite. So sprite. We'll name it sprite just for ease. And now we'll go ahead and set the sprite's image. So sprite set image and we'll name we'll put the image in there. And that pretty much concludes setting that up. Now we can give it a position. So we'll set the sprite's position. So sprite set position to 400 by 400. Alright, now we have that set up. Just one last thing to do and that's draw the image. So draw the sprite. Game draw sprite. And we should be able to build and have no issues. And now we can go ahead and run it. And there it is. You can see our new sprite loaded from the image is shown right here. We have our old rectangle still there. And now we will get rid of that pink magenta color by creating a color mask with that image and making it transparent. So go image. Let's comment that first. Set the color mask. So image create mask from color sf color and we'll go 255 0 255 and 255 so that'll create the color mask which will oops, which will store it for the image and then pass that image to the sprite and now we can just rebuild it and run it and there you see we have our image with the magenta gone. It's transparent. We can see the background now. Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, you could use other colors. Black, if you wanted to make them all zeros instead of 255, 0, 255. Whatever suits you best. And that pretty much wraps up this tutorial. Um, they're pretty straightforward and fast. Uh, what we got coming up next. Uh, if I can't think of anything else I need to show you before we jump to Box 2D, uh, the next tutorial is going to be Box 2D. We'll be creating a world and we'll be creating a ground object and then we'll be creating the dynamic object uh, either using a shape from SFML to visually show it or an image. Uh, maybe just both. One of each. So, um, until next time, have fun playing around with this. Uh, get a little bit more familiar. I recommend practicing just so it comes a little more natural to you. And uh, we'll get to it next time. Have fun.